Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris, aka okay, the IT guy. And before you continue with this PDO complete course, I'm going to show you some of the environment that we'll be using during this course. I, as we will be demonstrating about the database, I'm going to be using the MariaDB and we will be needing to install XAMPP like I did. This is now my XAMPP control panel. And there are a bunch of videos on my channel. Yeah, you can click the card up here to see on how to install ZAMP, which is not that complicated. After installing the ZAMP, uh, we also be needing the text editor. And the, the text editor that I will be using it will be the VS Code or the Visual Studio Code. You can use any text editor of your favorite, but if you want to have the same setup as me, you can proceed by installing the VS Code and install the ZAMP. And uh, on this ZAMP, we'll be needing to use the Apache server. That's why we are going to start it right now. And we need my SKR as our test database. You can use any database of your favorite as we're going to demonstrate the PDO uh, strategies or the PDO uh, coding style. You'll be needing the database to work on. So I'm going to start my SKR database here too. And uh, after doing that, I'm going to make a folder in uh, this location on where we will be uh, doing these stuff. I'm going to create it in XAMPP and I will navigate to htdocs, uh, create a new folder and call this PDO like this. And the next step that we want to do is to drag and drop the folder into the VS code on where we will start our coding. And as you are seeing here now is my the name of my folder. You can see that there is no anything here. Um, and before we continue, I will also have to make some uh, sample database to work on. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see on how we can do this. And to do that, I'm going to open my shell here and I'm going to log uh, as my SKR. I will put loot. As I don't have any password, I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And I will be using MariaDB as my default database. When you try to show uh, databases like this one, we see that there, there is uh, a bunch of database here. So, and we need to create a database. I'm going to create a database and call it uh, like create database. Uh, I'm going to call this Han Media and media like this one and do like this. And when you do like this and try to show the databases again, you will see that the Hanu Media database is now um, existing and I'm going to type use Hanu Media as my default database and you can see that it's no longer now uh, this no one it will be changed to Hanu Media. And there we will be using also a table that will hold our uh, information that we'll be using during this course. I'm going to go ahead and create it. I'm, uh, for it to be efficient, I'm going to create a new file here and I'm going to call this as um, database.skr. And I'm going to write a bunch of some SQL statements here, create table. I'm going to call this uh, names, which is now the demonstration and data that we'll be needing here. I mean, I'm, I will need int and it will be, I, I mean, I will, I will need ID and it will be an integer, it will be a primary key and it will be auto increment, auto increment like this. All right. And I will need now the first name and it will be a var curl. I'm going to put, for example, let me put a 200 and I'm, I'm going to put not now. And I'm going to do for the surname, var curl, and I'm going to put 200 again. And do like this one and put some uh, age, and it will be int, let me put 10. And I will save, uh, uh, do like this. And I will add the not now here again. And for here, we put not now. And that's all. And what I will do, I will close the statement and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it on my share here. And let me copy this again, copy and try to paste it here and press enter. In this case, we will see that the query was okay and there is no row affected as you didn't input or modify any data in here. But when you try to show tables, 
you will see that there will be this table called uh, names and when I try to describe uh, names you see there will be a lot of parameters and we are now sure that our uh, database is set and our table that we will be using for testing is now set to I will provide you with the boilerplate that we will be using uh, during these processes and make sure to lead it through to see that to see how it will operate during these uh, courses that we're going to take so i don't want to make this video very long this is now the environment that we'll be using during this course i hope you will uh, figure out to set it yourself and we'll continue with videos so stay in touch see you in the next script